friends, welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. Today I am going to show you how to hide a seam on, example, for example, a cuff or a waistband or a collar, anywhere that you kind of want just a little nicer finish. It's something that is gonna just take your sewing one step further and it's not something you have to do by any means, just a raw seam is totally fine, but it does add a nicer finish and I'll pop some examples up of ones that, like of pictures that I can show you and I'll show you in the end of this video as well. But it's kind of hard to visualize so I'll just pop some up right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about before we get into this. And once you learn this, you'll find that you use it more often than you think. And at first it can be really tricky, but I encourage you to keep practicing it because you'll end up using it all the time. And again, it just adds that nice little level of finish. Before we get started, I want to mention one more thing. Hit that subscribe button either right here in the corner or is it here? <laughs> I don't know, one of these corners, it'll say subscribe. Uh, you'll be able to subscribe by clicking right on the video or you can go down below and find the red subscribe button and hit that. Make sure you turn on those notifications because there is a huge giveaway coming up if you haven't heard and I don't want you to miss out. So thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Now let's go. All right friends, so I have once again broken my tripods, both of them and they need some doctoring and I, I'm almost at the point where I'm just done with it. So I'm either gonna get my husband to do it or just bite the bullet and order a much too expensive one. So you're gonna have to bear with my camera skills here for today. So what I've done here is I'm going to use this as like mimicking the sleeve and then this is going to mimic the sleeve cuff. Now again, you can do this on pant cuffs, you can do this on waistbands, you can do this on collars, you can do this on a lot of things. But we're going to imagine that this is the sleeve and that this is the cuff. Oh, again, working with one hand because I have to hold my camera. You're going to assemble your cuff as normal. If you're working with something that doesn't have a, like a cuff pattern piece and you're trying to add it on, you just want to make sure that the cuff is the same size as your sleeve or pant leg or whatever you're working on. And I've gone ahead and already sewn them together. So this is, this would be right sides together. Again, I've written on the wrong side. If you need a visual later on, just remember I've written on the wrong side. So I've sewn them together, half inch seam allowance, doesn't matter. You would normally finish this seam. I'm not going to for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what we need to do is turn our cuff right side out. So now the cuff is right side out. You can see my writing is hidden in there and it's, it's um, the seam is hidden. But now I'm going to slide it inside here. This is the right side of my sleeve and this is the, uh, the right side of my cuff. So I'm going to slide it in there so that they are right sides together, just like you normally would. However, we are not folding the cuff in half. So the cuff is still the full width. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have clipped it now so that it, they are right sides together, but just the two layers. So one thing I didn't mention is that I did iron at the crease here. You could also put a notch or a pin or a mark. You wanna make sure that it's all gonna line up, but if they are the same size, it should line up no problem. If you're using a stretchier fabric, then you would want to definitely make marks or notches so that you know where to line things up. But this is a linen and it doesn't stretch hardly at all, so I should be okay. So now that they're lined up, raw edges, and if you do have a directional print, make sure that the sleeve cuff is going to be the right way when it's done. I'm going to sew this up with a half inch seam allowance, lining up these raw edges, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have now sewn them together. You can see the stitching there in the contrasting blue. Next, you can open this up, bring the sleeve cuff outside so that it is again inside out. You can see that it's inside out there. 
and then you're going to press this seam allowance down toward the cuff. We do not need to finish this raw edge. You can if you want, but it is going to be stitched on top of again, so you don't need to worry too much about fraying, as well as it's going to be enclosed, so we don't really need to worry about it uh, it coming apart too much because it's not going to have a lot of wear or stress or anything like that. So now the tricky-ish part and you could have done this before. I probably should have told you to do this before. So we're going to fold up the bottom raw edge of this cuff and you want this to be equal to the amount of your seam allowance. So about half an inch and then we're going to press that. Then we're going to fold it up to cover the seam allowance. Just a touch kind of where that stitching is and then we're going to press it in half there this is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life the roads that lay open are many and the old one's gone on the and if you are interested in um, like a written format of something like this, the Seamwork Bow Top, I believe the cuffs on that, the instructions are to hide the seam on there. Okay, so once you have it all pinned, here I'll show you. Now I'm going to press the cuff flat so that has a nice crease there. Uh, I guess you wouldn't have to, but I'm going to. And then I'm going to sew it in the round and I'm going to stitch right in the ditch and I like to use oh my goodness I'm going to stitch right in the ditch so making sure I pull that cuff back so I'm stitching right in the ditch and I like to use my blind hem foot actually for this so I'll try and get a shot of that once uh, once I'm ready to sew here all right, so I'm all set up here with my blind hem foot and it is so hard to get in there to get a better visual for you guys. But what is happening is this red piece that you see is going to make sure that my fabric stays apart and I still have to hold it and watch and make sure and everything like that. But then what it does is you can adjust this red piece to be either further left or right so that your needle will then go in to the ditch and there is a little bar back there that you also need to be mindful of well on my model anyway and so be mindful that your needle doesn't hit it but also that'll help you guide where you need to have this set so now i'm going to sew this in the ditch and then we'll come back and show you the final result okay here is our sleeve and the cuff so i used a contrasting thread but in your real version you would of course want to use a matching thread and stitching in the ditch would mean that you wouldn't even notice this I'll show you again, I'll pop that picture up here of one of an actual one I did. But for a tutorial, I have to use contrasting colors or you wouldn't see anything. And then the inside. So again, here is our inside that we started with. And this is what it looks like. And you could even have it closer to the edge if I would have had my fold closer to that original stitching. And then that's how it finishes. So no raw seams in there nice and clean again this would be white in an actual version and you can see a little bit further away here so you do try to want to kind of want to get it uh, nice and even but if you were to prep your piece at the beginning and like make a fold line and marks and everything like that then you would have a little more success with that but that is how that turns out nice and hidden all right guys so that's the end of this video i hope it was helpful leave me a comment below if this is a new technique to you if you like to see techniques like this and if you want to see more like this or if you have other um if you have other suggestions for stuff like this i will absolutely take them into consideration and see if i can help you out or learn more myself this is kind of a new technique to me i guess i've been doing it for a while and I, the first few times i did it i again like i hated it it was like there's no way i'm doing that it's awful 
but now it's I've become accustomed to it and I really really like it so yeah enjoy I'll catch you in the next video have a great weekend guys bye